My name is Christian Broderick. I'm a graduate student in the Department of Earth and Planetary Sciences at UC Berkeley, and I study meandering rivers and how they evolve through time and the conditions necessary to maintain them. If a river has been impacted by something like dams or land use like logging, often what they'll do is go in to restore a stream that's an important habitat, they'll go in with bulldozers and create a new river. These projects often fail, and determining what the shape of the channel is is mostly guesswork. What we're trying to figure out in this work here is what are the conditions that are necessary to create a meandering river and maintain it as it migrates across its floodplain. Christian spent years coming up with a method to create a laboratory setting in which meanders naturally form and cut off. He experimented with all kinds of materials. It took years of patience. He has succeeded in making self-generating meanders, self-maintaining meanders that are, in all the ways we can look at it, analogous to what occurs in nature. In order to mimic a natural river, you carve a channel and you plant alfalfa seeds. We added strength from alfalfa sprouts, which are like vegetation in the field. And also, we use both coarse and a fine sediment. We turn on the water, dye the water yellow so that it, it's visible on our photographs. And we turn on sediment, so we feed both the coarse sediment and the fine sediment at the upstream end. And we also put in titanium dioxide, which makes the water white and opaque. And so the laser reflects off the water surface rather than penetrating. We take measurements of the velocity of the flow, we take measurements of the water surface profile through time and how that evolves. We measure the amount of sediment going in and the amount of sediment coming out. The sediment is sucked out of the bottom of the flume and transported over to a, a large basin. In, in that basin, we have a basket that's attached to a load cell, and that load cell measures how much sediment is coming out. So the research we've done on, on river channel processes has recently taken um, and increased significance on studies on Mars because we have found with the high resolution cameras features that are very similar to features we find on Earth, in particular meandering channels. Just the morphology on Mars of a sinuous channel contains in it important clues about Martian history that our work has some bearing on because we can understand more about what controls form. It's really exciting work. I mean, for, for to be able to create something that people have been trying to do and to be able to, to take what people have done before and adjust it slightly or adjust it a lot and get it to work is pretty exciting. I mean, it's hard not to feel good about that.